Hey, it's Dirk, founder of Developers Academy. Welcome to the All Things Auto Layout course. Now, this course is the one place that will teach you everything you need to know about auto layout. There's rule no longer you have to be confused about all these kinds of things in auto layout. When you go to this course, I believe that you want to build an app that changes the world, that solves a lot of problems for people, that enhances people's lives. You want to build an app that fits all kinds of device screens or displays. You want to build an app that just works on more than 1 billion iOS devices in the world. So there are more than 1 billion iOS devices all over the place, all over the world. Right, but the problem lies in those 1 billion iOS devices in the world. There are several ways, there are several kinds of iPhones, iPads, iOS devices over here. Now, why do I mention with you all these kinds of iOS uh, devices? Not to mention, we also have iPod Touch, right? So, why do I mention with you all these kinds of iOS devices? Well, because in the old day, the way that people designed and developed iOS apps is pixel perfection. What do I mean by pixel perfection? Well, it means that if you want to place a button in the storyboard, then you will place it in the storyboard at this exact pixel. Okay, if you want to place a button in code, then you will place exact pixel. Because in the old day, after all, we just have one screen size, we just have one uh, resolution, which is 5.5 inch screen and non retina display screens. But the old day has gone since the introduction of iPhone 4, which comes the introduction of retina displays. Now, retina displays is completely different because um, for iPhone for iPhone 3s and below which is the non retina display iPhone they are non retina display meaning that there's one point in the uh, in iOS corresponds to one pixel but with the retina displays one point corresponds to four pixels right and there are major difference other difference so it means that the iPhone 4 inch basic iPhone 4 basically is much bigger than iPhone 3s 3, uh, 3s right so if you want to place one button there it will not work as good as on the other devices now at this time the screencast it is 2015 the iPhone 6 plus is 5.5 inch displays so if you place a button right in the center of the iPhone 4 inch then on the iPhone 5.5 it will be way over on the top okay you will not see that that's the problem so what is the new way of design and developed iOS apps that works on every devices that looks good and fits on every kinds of screens well there comes auto layout Auto layout is the best tool in the toolbox of iOS developers. But the problem is, auto layout is quite hard to work with. It is, has the reputation of really um, an art rather than a science. It means that it's quite confusing. People who are new to auto layout are super confused with all these kind of things like the top space, bottom space, width, height, x, y all these kinds of things and personally really when I was first introduced to auto layout I am so confused there, there are so many things in auto layout that we have to learn so what I did is I have to uh, read books about that uh, watch video tutorials about auto layout the, um, I have to go over all these kinds of blog posts read documentation and finally at after a period of time, I feel myself quite comfortable with auto layout and um, I break it down into several parts that we'll need to master auto layout. And in this video, I would love to show you these parts, which is corresponds to different parts in this course also. All right, so let's talk about those parts. In part one of this course, 
you will learn about the introduction to auto layout. I will show you what is it exactly auto layout. I will tell in more detail why you want to use auto layout. What uh, what is the essential thing in auto layout, which is a constraint. A constraint simply is um, the thing that specifies the relation between a view and a different view. Okay, and we will talk in more detail about um, auto layout and constraints in the next video. In part two of this course, we will learn everything about constraints. If auto layout is a tool that allows us to specify relation between views, between controls in the view, then constraints is the blood into that. Now, argue me with that, argue me with this, because I know that a lot of you who are watching this video that already learned a lot about auto layout, but you still feel not very confident with auto layout, right? And argue me with this, okay? I think that showing you some, uh, just the fundamentals of auto layout is good. It will show you the, um, the myth about auto layout, the fundamentals about auto layout. But here's my perspective on this, Tro showing you my throwing bunch of buttons and views and blocks and labels and um, text views on the screen will not help you at all to learn auto layout. I know that I've been to that. So that's why my approach in this course is completely different. My approach in this course is as I grow my, uh, grow my developers academy with bunch of projects, I teach my students with a tons of projects. I build a curriculum for students without any prior programming experience. So that's why all the projects are built from ground up. All the projects are built from the very uh, basic levels to very advanced level. It also means that the basic levels have more uh, has less complex UI. The more advanced level has more complex UI. That's why in this course, we will build up our knowledge in auto layout by applying into applying auto layout into real world app into those projects. I will showcase you with those apps that will be in our uh, developers academy. So in the first part of part two, in the first app we will apply auto layout is this motivational quotes app. Now this motivational quotes app will have um, just that very simple UI, but we will learn a lot about auto layout. Next, we will learn to apply auto layout on this music playlist app. Believe me, if you look at this music playlist app, it looks uh, quite it, like it looks quite simple, right? It's actually the the um, it, it's actually the purpose when I designed that. But in fact. This app has tons of UI elements, it's tons of UI controls in that. And this will be one of the hardest projects in Auto Layout course. You will learn a lot about constraints, about all the controls in Auto Layout with this project. And I believe that after this project, you will grow, you will not be confused with Auto Layout. It will be like your second nature, okay? It will, you'll be feeling very comfortable with auto layout because these apps are the apps that my students have been learning. They ship it to the app store. They, of course, they put their own personal preferences into that, but those are the real world apps, okay? So this app, these elements, this kind of design will be maybe somehow in the future, you want to use some of those. So you already know about applying auto layout on this kind of project, right? That's my purpose for you in this course. Next, we want to build this tip calculator app. It looks really easy again, but it will help you to reinforce a lot of skills, knowledge about auto layouts. Next, we want to learn about priority in part four of this course. Priority is another thing that really confused a lot of students and of course myself because now if you know about me, I always consider myself as a lifelong learner. I learn iOS every day with 
if you go to my desktop, uh, there's a folder for books inside. I have tons of books in iOS, so I learn iOS every day, and I hope you do too. Okay, so in this course, we'll learn about priority, we'll learn about content hugging priority, content. Uh, content compression resistance priority also those could be the things that a lot of times you will be very confused about that we will break it down and master those now in priority not only I will show you the, for the fundamentals in priority won't you apply those things in uh, um, the real world app also the first app we'll apply is something I call a pretty apple and here's how the app will look like we use a table view with the image with the title and some description of the apple products this will allow you to apply auto layout using the priority knowledge that you already learned in part 4 of this course of course I will walk with you each step of the way next we'll enhance this app pretty apple app a little bit more change the layout of the cell right we have the customized table view cell so uh, because it's although it is still the same elements but with different layouts we have to apply auto layouts differently so that's the purpose of this course we will master auto layouts and we will learn a lot about UI to view custom cell layout also next you want to use something I want to um, show you how to build this UI for the Twitter, Twitter client app I call it text okay and in fact part of this uh, course will be for your challenge now I forgot to mention to you that after each video you have a hands-on challenge for yourself you master you will learn a lot of things in that challenge okay it is my just my way of teaching every course if you are already following developers academy courses you know that after each video tutorial i will give you a uh, hands-on challenge and that will help you learn tremendously next we want to learn about multiplier multiplier is sometimes the way that you will need to learn um, need to use in auto layouts usually we don't use it very often but still it is very important in auto layouts and we will learn that by building the header view for a facebook group app if you are using a facebook group app then you are already uh, familiar with this kind of ui and we'll apply auto layout on this kind of ui also in part six and other parts of this course i just want to use that as a bonus for you by joining in this course now in the part six we'll learn auto layout in code we use auto layout in code although most of the time i i don't recommend doing that um, unless that you really need to you have to do those things because um, with the tools that you have in storyboard to apply auto layout most of the time 90 percent or 99 percent of the time is good to go but there are some cases that you cannot use that with just simple tools in um, storyboard so at that time use auto layout in, co in code okay we will show you how to use auto layout in code also next i want to give you another uh, tutorials about stack views stack view is another way of layout controls in iOS 9 and Swift 2 okay and of course um, I think that I will have a different individual course on stack views but it just has an introduction to stack view is good in auto layout course all right Whew. <laughs> I know that I have been talking a lot about auto layout and the introduction to this course that you are going to take about auto layout so we talk a lot about this course we talk about constraints um, auto layout content hugging priority content compression resistance priority uh, so what is the first step step for you to take here or what is my first challenge for this in this course now um, you should take this as granted okay after each video i will give you a challenge and this challenge is actually the thing that will help you learn the most way more than following my tutorial my tutorial will be a video tutorial walk you through each step of the way but my challenge for you will be help you learn way more than that so it will be hands-on challenge okay now what is the first hands-on challenge for you in this video your first hands-on challenge for you in this video is 
the first video in this course, Introduction to Auto Layouts. Um, how can you get that video? Now, if you recall that a few minutes ago, you entered your name and email in the little form to tell me where should I send you these video tutorials, okay? And I will send you even more in the next few days. So your challenge this time to open your inbox and find out an email from me called Juk Chuan. That's my name over the screen on there, okay? And find out inside that video, there's a link for you to go to the first introduction to auto layout video. So get started with auto layout. I know that it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be challenging and confusing to approach. It's just the nature of everything when you learn something new, okay? But this course is the thing that will help you jump the learning curve. You don't have to worry about auto layout after joining in this course, I assure you that. I'll walk you through each step of the way. We're here to help you again. We'll have step-by-step -step video tutorial for you. We'll have hands-on challenge for you to break through your learning curve, to break through your confusion. Of course, I'm here to help you also. All right. so you will master auto layouts. I'm sure that you will, okay? Just try out the video tutorial, try out the challenge. Tomorrow, I will send you an even more fun and exciting video tutorial on auto layouts. It's about constraints in auto layouts. It's another video tutorial to your inbox. So if you um, enter your name and primary email there, you are good to go. If you didn't enter your name and primary email, then enter it over there so I can send you even more video tutorials because otherwise where should I send you those things right so watch for my email tomorrow also I see you next time go out there learn new things build your products and contribute to the world and please do me a favor to share this with your friends and fellow developers and if you have any question feel free to post it right down below and I will personally reviewing comments and answering your questions. Until next time, see you in the next video.